The same way I lost respect for Joel Embiid these playoffs, I've lost respect for Luka over the course of these playoffs because he, he just can't get out of his own head, can't get out of his own way, can't just play basketball. He works the ref from the tip to the buzzer every yeah. single time. I mean, time. they all do, really. LeBron I, does it as much as anybody. No, 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 he don't do it as much as Again, him. listen, Tim. I'm just letting you know, I've been to games. They all do it. I've been to games. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this. I didn't see Luka from when the ball has been thrown up. Yeah. I watched Luka. And from 48 minutes, yes. the whole game, he talks to the referee. The entire time. The whole game. Timeouts. That's what the stars do. Uh, no, no. LeBron doesn't do that. LeBron's nonstop. It, that, LeBron, LeBron does not do that. There's LeBron no one that does doesn't like do Luka. No. no one in the league it, does Luka as much does, as Luka. Luka does it for a whole game, and you're absolutely right. And that's what fans and people are, and other teams are upset about because they get to talk. he gets to talk to uh, the referees all the time, and they can't. And well, so, and so, but why, why can't they talk to the referee? It makes him because unlikable. Referees tell him, go ahead on. Tim, does it make him unlikable in your eyes? It makes him. I like him less after this. Well, I mean, to a lot of people, he, a lot of people like him less because he—that's all he does. Let me ask you this. Good. So you said everybody moans and groans. They do about every the game. It's every game. Mike Conley. Mike Conley. I didn't ask you. Is it? It's just yes. It's just yes or no. No, but John Moran does. Jalen Brunson? No, no, no. Jalen Brunson? Jalen Brunson? Jalen Brunson. Brunson. Brunson does bitch about calls, but he's a humble superstar. And he's special. And all the superstars should follow his lead. Okay. That's why the Knicks are going to win five But you answered my question. Okay, if you, Mike what are we Conley, all? Oh, we're all you said all of them. You said all of them. We're not a million big deal yet. Yeah, it's got to be every up. single guy you, in that you, team. You is that right? It. That's what you said. Every superstar not named Brunson complains the entire game <laughs> about every call and every non-call. that he did. It's not just Luka. You watch any NBA game. And the star player, other than Brunson, the star player, except for Jalen Brunson, complains the entire game. This is the game that you left us. This is the NBA today. That's wrong. It's bitch and moan and bitch and moan and bitch and moan. Absolutely wrong. And you should be ashamed of these guys. And you should be ashamed of yourself telling people that on national Uh, TV. We don't normally use uh, reports that have anonymous sources on this program. However, this one comes from Howard Beck, a respected veteran reporter. And he reported the following, and I quote Mr. Beck's Ringer article. One veteran assistant coach said you can almost sense a sigh of relief among Dodgers' teammates when he checks out of a game because it opens up a little more freedom for others to make plays. You're intimately involved in the mechanics of this locker room and how things work and how people feel. Do you think that Mr. Beck's anonymous source is correct? Well, you know, and I, and I tell folks this. I give information to Tim. Tim don't get information to me. Mm-hmm. I've been around this game longer than Tim. I understand this game more than my son. I, I pay attention to details, and I've been telling him and, and a lot of other people that calls me and say, hey, man, does it look like this? I say, yes, it does look like that. When Luka's not playing or when Luka goes out the game, the ball moves better. Everybody gets involved in the offense more. It's more touches for everybody. I'm not saying that they like it. When he's out the game, I'm just saying that they are more involved. And when you have your best shooter on the court, Tim is their best shooter yes. on the court. They, we got to be hunting for him. They, you, they, they, and they don't hunt for him. Everything is going to Luka or Kyrie. You got to get other people involved and other people open to make it easier for them. Yes. Because say, say if they, because they know only thing we got to do is concentrate on Luka and Kyrie. That's they, they know that. But if we got to concentrate on these other guys, yes. then Luke and Kyrie, you got these other guys on the island, which mm-hmm. they normally have, and then make it easy for them. Like, like Irving, great look underneath. And Hardaway blows the bunny. When he hit his face on the floor. Hardaway, way off the mark. Hardaway had a 10-point third quarter in game two. Shot was it walks it in. First foul in the last two minutes. Hardaway just put it in no man's land. I just could not convert. We're under a minute to go in this opening quarter. Hardaway missed it badly off the top of the backboard. Gafford there for the rebound. Shot clock is down to eight. We're down to 25 seconds to go in the first. Hardaway lines it up from the field. Doncic drives in, kicks it out. Hardaway, air ball. Here's the video yeah. last night. This is Tim Hardaway Jr. baseline. Oh. That's the backboard, oh, the backboard. Offensive rebound. Hardaway looks for the rock. 
Yeah, what's that note He's to do? He's going to get another shot at yes. it. Okay, what are we doing? Uh, Three-pointer. Three. Oh, it's, it's like, yeah. wow. There's yeah. plenty of time I'm, left I'm tell on the you shot this. clock. Every game, if you watch every NBA game, somebody going to shoot off the corner of the backboard in every NBA game. Right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, watch I'll tonight. take the under. I'll take the under. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Watch tonight. Watch it happen tonight. tonight. I will watch. Tonight. Here's, watch it happen uh, tonight. Look, and somebody going to shoot just like that. <laughs> no, it's, it's, no, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Tim, top corner I'm on the side of the backboard? I've watched uh, every playoff game this postseason. And you haven't seen one? That's the first one. No, I've seen yeah. about five or six of them. I will say this. I've seen about five or six of them. I will say this. Your son... Other than those two baskets, shot 50% from the floor last night. Well, yeah, he only had six shots. Right. But anyway, I mean, I mean, that's not hard to do if you got six shots. But I mean, but the, but the thing is that they won. They won. That's but all I, that But I'm going to tell you this. Yeah. Just watch. Somebody, y'all, and then tomorrow y'all be like, you know what? We got to show this because Tim was right. All right. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. We got to right. I'm just, just going to tell you that.